Hello. This video demonstrates how to create augmented reality applications for the MetaQuest using Godot 4.0.1. Launch the Godot editor and create a new project called Pass Through Demo. Go to the asset library, then download and install the Godot XR Tools asset. Open the project settings and enable the Godot XR Tools plugin. In the rendering options, enable the ETC2 and ASTC textures, then enable Open XR and the XR shaders. Save and restart the project. Start with a 3D scene and rename the root node to main. Add an XR Origin 3D node, and then add an XR Camera 3D node and two XR Controller 3D nodes to it. Move the camera up to a default 1.7 meter height. Move the first controller up 1 meter and to the left half a meter. Then rename it left controller and set its tracker to left hand and pose to aim. Move the second controller up 1 meter and to the right half a meter. Then rename it right controller and set its tracker to right hand and pose to aim. Navigate to the assets, Godot XR tools, hands, scenes, low poly, folder, and drag the left physics hand low scene under the left controller node and the right physics hand low scene under the right controller node. Navigate to the Godot XR Tools, Functions, Folder, and drag Function Pickup Scenes under the left and right controller nodes. Modify the Function Pickup nodes to have a small grab distance of 0.1 meters for this demo. Add a Static Body 3D under the main node and rename it to Tabletop. Then add a collision shape 3D node to it with a box shape set to 3 by 0.1 by 2 meters. Move the tabletop up to a height of 0.7 meters. Add an XR Tools pickable node under the main node and rename it to Grab Cube. Modify the Grab Cube collision layer to 3 for pickable objects, and add collision masks for layers 3 and 17 so the cube will collide with other cubes.
Add a collision shape 3D to the grab cube with a box shape of 0.1 by 0.1 by 0.1 meters. Add a mesh instance 3D to the grab cube with a box mesh of 0.1 by 0.1 by 0.1 meters. Add a highlight ring to the grab cube to indicate when cubes can be grabbed. Move the grab cube up to a height of 0.8 meters to be on top of the table, then push it away from the player so it's not in their chest when the game begins. Clone two copies of the grab cube and move them to either side of the first grab cube. Modify the mesh instance of the first grab cube to add a red material. The three grab cube meshes are shared at the moment, so all three will change. Modify the mesh instance of the second grab cube to make it unique, and then change it to have a green material. Modify the mesh instance of the third grab cube to make it unique and then change it to have a blue material. Add a directional light 3D above the player aiming down to illuminate the objects. Add a world environment node with a new environment, and set the background mode to a custom color with the alpha channel set to zero for full transparency. Add a start XR node and set it to enable pass-through. Save the scene as main.tscn, then browse to it and set it as the main scene of the project. Under the project menu, install the Android build template. From the asset library, download and install the Godot XR Android Open XR Loaders asset. Open the export window and add a new Android export called Android Quest. Enable the Gradle Build option and the Godot Open XR Meta plugin. Set the XR mode to Open XR and set Pass Through to Optional. Close the export window, then remote debug on the Oculus Quest. The project will build 
and then download to the Quest headset.